Hello, welcome back, and thank you for being here, everyone. I am at it again. Same color combo as the ice scoop that I did, so the purples, pinks, yellows. But in the previous video that I did with this color combination, I had a ring pour in the center and I had puddles on the outside. And I am loving these combination techniques. So this time I wanted to do ring pours on the outside and the puddles on the inside and then swipe. So same thing here, I have layered my cup of just gray and um, navy that I made. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on this one. I love the outcome of the other one. I will link the video in the description so that you can see maybe that and the ice scoop that I did. Um, but let's paint. All right, so I'm gonna start with my ring pours kind of a little bit towards the center. I definitely didn't use as much paint in the actual cup. And I still do think a lighter color, maybe some white would add a little bit more definition to the center, but I'm not super worried about it. If you get in your ring pour an area like this, that just means that that one color was coming through. So I may try to swipe into that section. When you're doing combination techniques, you can always work on it and change whatever you like. You can swipe through certain areas. It's not like a regular ring pour where you have to be like super um, precise with where your rings are gonna be. So I started with the other one. Well, I started with this one with gray in the bottom and I started that one with blue in the bottom and you can see the difference in layering just between these two puddles here. And I'm definitely, I think I'm gonna swipe through that area there and this area there. So I'm gonna start with my purple and I'm gonna be using up the leftovers here. I said I was gonna do it on the side, but I wonder if I should do it. I may add some color here, I'm not sure yet. When I have a new idea, sometimes I don't think, you don't always think through the entire process <laughs> of what you're gonna need to do before you start painting. So I am gonna put a little bit here. Yeah. I'm gonna save my yellow to fill up the space last. And this looks like the gray color, so I'm gonna leave most of that on the outer edges. And then my yellow, I will use to fill up the center. I want to use every last drop. Mm, I've already got it there. Let me see if there's any more in here. Okay, let me see if there's any other of these colors that I want to kind of add in here. Yep, to blend just to cover the canvas, because the ring pour is gonna touch up there and push that off. I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna use those colors to swipe through on each section. So maybe I do want, if I have any left, a little bit of purple down on this side. And I'm not worried about this because that will touch as well. So I think I've pretty much got it covered. I am a little bit worried about this space right in here, almost put it in the wrong place. But I think what I'll do is if there's any left in the cup, just to help it flow, I'm gonna put that around there. I think I've got a little bit in here as well. 
And this is just to help it flow. That design will not stay on the canvas. So I think for this, I'm just gonna come through <laughs> I caught the canvas here. All right. So the rest of this will get swiped. Let me pop any air bubbles. Bubbles. And I think I'm going to get swipe in here. So I'm going to swipe. I want to catch it right through there, I think. And I have one last idea for this, but I'm gonna use a different color combination where I have blocks just of solid color, the puddles in the middle, and I swipe out into them. So I'm gonna start swiping right here with the pink. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that little part right there. It's definitely going to go off, but the side, but that is super pretty. And I think I'm going to swipe. And I also want to do one big canvas of just crazy swipes. Just swipes everywhere, maybe wrecking it a little bit. Just something like super fun. So I like this center portion. I wish that that came through there a little bit more. I think I want to swipe this little area right down here. And I feel like maybe I want to swipe. This is going to be the center. I feel like maybe I do want to swipe a little bit in there. Well, it doesn't have to be the center. I could stretch it in a direction, but. And then you can see the reaction happening. Oh, that is so pretty. And then do I wanna swipe any on the outside here? I wanna keep the ring pores pretty That's all gonna go off the edge, but that edge then will just be have a little bit there. And then I think I might swipe just a little bit. On through there. Okay, let's see how that turns off. This corner is gonna have to be stretched because that's the messiest right there. All right, let me get my gloves on. I was holding my breath this time. I can't think about what I'm trying to do and do it at the same time. Um, I think I'm gonna come down and get that corner first. Ooh, I, I wanna keep, ah! I wanna keep that little area of pink. because I wanna keep that area of pink and purple on that side as well. I wasn't loving what was happening in the center, so I'm gonna stretch a little bit more of that off and just kind of have a river of yellow coming through. And then I need to make it back down to this side. This one was way more difficult to keep those swipes in the center for the design. Hmm. Oh, I'm stuck on the tape. This one was definitely more tough. Tougher? More tough. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's this river of yellow in the center. I knew the center was gonna be the issue. It always is. I shouldn't say always, but like this part right here, I've got this jagged edge. I didn't like that. 
Okay, this part in the center, I need a really steady hand to kind of draw this on up. like that. I think that I think that's really all that needed. This one little part of purple I would like to carry it on down. I feel like maybe this yellow went into here a little bit. And then came out through here a little bit. Oh yes, just that tiny little change. Now it added, so it was very, uh, I'm, I'm like super happy. <laughs> the smallest little detail of change for me really changed this painting. So it was really jagged through here and right here. And, and it still is just a tiny bit right there, but I'm just gonna smooth that on out. And just by taking the palette knife and changing those little areas, it now creates the flow of the painting that way. So I'm super happy about that. Very different, the ring pores took over and it's just a pop of color in the middle and I'm okay with that, but I wanted to see the difference in the two. So make sure you check out my other video where the ring port is in the center of it. I love this little river of yellow that's going through. I've got a pop of pink over here, a pop of pink over here, the tiniest hint of purple, and the rest of it is the beautiful ring pores on the side. So totally different design. I like them both. I think I probably gravitate towards the colorful edges more, but I like it. So, I'm okay, here you have it. The two different layered ring pores on the edge, the super bright, colorful yellow through the center, and I'm really glad I used the palette knife right there to kind of stretch those out. So here's all those beautiful rings. And if you want your rings to hold a little bit better, I really love that effect. Almost like, I don't know, like it's not quite stained glass, but if you want your rings to hold a little bit better, um, thicken your paints up a bit. That is beautiful on that corner. Love the corners on this one. All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna let this dry, fingers crossed. And I'll show you. All right, here it is. So definitely minimalist. <laughs> no big pops of color except that yellow through this one and that little red on the side. But I like it. It's just very different from the one that had the puddle pores on the outside and the ring pour in the center. I think I like that better or I just needed maybe a bigger pop of color in the center of this one. Got that tiny little peek through of pink down there and up there in that corner. And I think the yellow really, really is nice in the center there. And I've got that one little part of lacing of it. So all in all, I like this experiment as well. And I'm glad that I made those little tendrils through the center. I think it really added to the motion. And I think probably I'm gonna, I, I don't know, I haven't decided if this way works for hanging or if vertical works better, but we will see. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.